Hi there and welcome to today's tutorial. In today's tutorial we're going to look at the chapter of urbanisation and we're going to look at some of the factors that influence the distribution of urban settlements. Okay, so some factors um, have a big influence on the distribution of urban settlements Okay, and why people actually locate where they actually do locate. So the first one we're going to look at, uh, first factor that play, play, plays a big part is historical. So, the historical factor, many events in history have affected the distribution, such as uh, coastline locations, because these were associated where the Vikings and, Nor and the Normans actually developed uh, walled cities. So, with the Vikings and Normans, many of these, um, when the Vikings and Normans actually located in Ireland and settled down, they located uh, around coastal areas, and that's because they located uh, on coastal areas, this is a reason why these areas are have a much higher population density than than some other areas. Because historically, that's where they were like first. Another factor that influences uh, the development of urban areas is relief. So, flat, low lying lands has always been a big uh, factor in. The development of urban of urban areas, and the reason for this is because it's much easier to build on flat, lower lying land. The third uh, factor is rivers. Rivers play a very important uh, part in the development of of urban areas and where people actually settle down. Because we will find that ninety five percent of the major uh, cities are how are, are uh, developed. Uh, along rivers and this is because they need easy access um, to because it's got in the past it would have access to water so access to water they also used rivers um, for trade they use rivers for transporting goods um, and it, they also use like rivers as like the crossing point as well so rivers are an extremely important uh, factor in um in, in the development of urban settlements. Another re f f factor is resource-based. So resource-based. So areas that have resources um, will lead to uh, a lot of uh, settlements developing here. So a lot of the lead to settlement developing in these areas. Another factor is because of tourism. Tourists are attracted to coastal regions, which is another reason why urban areas develop along uh, coasts. An example could be Bray or Wexford. Fishing is another factor. Settlements. Um, in the past, would have, would have uh, relied heavily on uh, on fishing industry, and and therefore it is the reason why uh, the urban area would have developed along the coast because of if it's close to a port or close to a fishing uh, port. So let's say for fishing industry. And the last one we'll say for uh, the last factor we'll say is overspill. So because of congestion in urban areas, um, people have been encouraged to settle outside region, outside the region. And urban overspills have been like um have been common in, in, in the past, particularly in the last hundred years, because of the increase in population. And this is to relieve some of the pressure on the land and the resources, and because of the need for housing. So these settlements are usually called like new towns. An example of this we can say is, is Tala. Or Adamstown. So basically, these are like the overspill towns because the population has increased so much and there's so much pressure on the area. They create new towns, and new towns that we've created in Dublin have been uh, Tala and Adamstown. So these are just some of the factors that have influenced the distribution of urban settlements, and some of the factors in, that have, have led to the reason why urban areas have developed where they actually have. 
And it's really important that you know these for your junior certificate examination for this chapter of urbanization, but also for the chapter of uh, settlements. And you will, you might possibly be asked uh, on your OS map as well, a question on why has this area developed where it has developed. So that's it for today's tutorial. Um, it was a nice and short one. Hope you enjoyed it. If you would like some more videos on the chapter of urbanization, please go to the website, examinvision.e. You can find all the, the, uh, the, the entire junior certificate examination geography course. Uh, you can get every video for every chapter and you can also take little tests and notes and PowerPoints. So please go to the website and you can find um, lots of helpful resources there for you.